Elon Musk has been told by the Mahdi government not to sell electric cars in India, which Tesla has manufactured in China. It should manufacture electric cars in India and also export from India. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Elon Musk World, where we tell you all the latest news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies. In today's video, we are going to tell you about Tesla and Mahdi's government ongoing discussion on selling China-made cars in India. Nitin Gadkari, a union minister, said on Friday that he asked Tesla, based in California, several times to manufacture its iconic electric vehicles in India, and that the government will provide the company with all the necessary support. Gadkari also stated during his speech at the India Today Conclave 2021 that Tata Motors' electric cars are just as good as Tesla's electric cars. I have told Tesla that they don't sell electric cars in India, which your company has manufactured in China. You should manufacture electric cars in India and also export cars from India," he said. Tesla has asked for a reduction in India's import duties on electric vehicles. Whatever support Tesla wants will be provided by our government, Gadkari added. The Minister of Transportation and Highway stated that he is still in contact with Tesla officials regarding the company's request for tax breaks. Last month, the Heavy Industries Ministry requested that Tesla begin manufacturing its iconic electric vehicles in India before considering any tax breaks. Currently, cars imported as completely built units, or CBUs, are subject to customs duties ranging from 60% to 100%, depending on the engine size and cost, as well as the value of insurance and freight, CIF less than or greater than USD $40,000. The U.S. company claimed in a letter to the road ministry that the effective import tariffs of 110% on vehicles with a customs value of more than USD $40,000 is prohibitive for zero-emission vehicles. It has asked the government to lower the tariffs on electric cars to 40% regardless of the customs value and to eliminate the 10% social welfare surcharge on electric cars. It claims that these charges will help the Indian EV ecosystem grow and that the company will invest heavily in sales, service, and charging infrastructure as well as significantly increase procurement for India for its global operations. No Indian OEM currently produces a car with an X factory price above $40,000 USD, according to the company, and only 1-2% to of cars sold in India have an X factory customs value above $40,000 USD. Tesla has a golden opportunity to set up a manufacturing facility in India, according to Gatkari, given the country's push for electric vehicles. He had previously stated that Tesla is already sourcing various auto components from India automakers and that establishing a base here would be economically viable. Tesla's lobbying has not persuaded Indian officials, according to official sources, because the company has not yet shared any firm plans to invest in the country which would be in line with Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Make in India vision to boost local manufacturing and create jobs. The decisions with the Indian government have reached a weird stalemate situation, according to a third person with direct knowledge of Tesla's thinking. Things aren't moving forward for Tesla, the source says. Because the discussions are private, the sources decline to be identified. The apparent impasse could jeopardize the electric car maker's plans for India where it was counting on lower import taxes to make its vehicles more affordable and the business viable. Currently, a 100% import tax on electric vehicles with a landing cost of $40,000 or more, including the car's price plus impound shipping costs, making India the world's most expensive market for Tesla cars, putting them out of reach for the vast majority of Indian customers. Tesla has told officials it is open to sourcing more auto components locally and eventually moving into manufacturing, according to a third source but government sources have indicated they want firm commitments. If they do not want to invest anything here, how is that model going to work? Asked one senior Indian government official, who added that lowering import tariffs was highly unlikely in the near future. A request for comment from Tesla was not returned. A request for comment was sent to Prime Minister Mahdi's office, as well as India's finance and industries ministries, which are all looking into Tesla's demands. The third source and fourth person familiar with the Tesla's plans said the company is banking on the upcoming federal budget on February 1st, when such tax changes are typically announced to see if its lobbying efforts bear fruit or rethink how it wants to approach the Indian market. According to the fourth source, Tesla recently met with officials from India's Tax and Customs Department as part of its latest push. It has previously met with Prime Minister Modi's office and requested that Musk meet with him to discuss his plans for India. Prime Minister Modi's government has previously taken a hard line against foreign company demands in order to boost domestic production. 
In 2017, Apple requested tax breaks, including lower import duties, to allow it to manufacture iPhones in India, but Prime Minister Modi's officials turned down many of its demands. Musk has previously stated on Twitter that if Tesla is successful in selling imported cars, it may consider building cars in India. He said, the company was still working through a lot of challenges with the government, last week in a tweet. CFO Deepak Aja was quoted earlier this year as saying, India is a huge potential market where we need to be. I think sometime in 2015 seems to make sense to enter India, but it's difficult to make an official announcement. Tesla has had a lot of success in various markets it has entered. It's popular in the United States, and it's also popular in Europe and China. However, India is a different story, and it will be interesting to see if the country is ready for Tesla yet. Tesla is currently working on a third-generation car, the Tesla Model 3, a smaller four-door sedan aimed at emerging markets like India. According to Tesla Chief Information Officer Jay Vijayan, the Model 3's target price will be between $30,000 and $40,000, or roughly RS19 to RS26 Lika, at current exchange rates. In reality, launching in India would be prohibitively expensive. Despite the fact that Model 3 was supposed to be released in 2015, the project has been plagued by delays, and it appears the car will not be released anytime soon. Even if it does make it to India, Tesla's success in the country isn't guaranteed. The car maker, whose primary advertising strategy is based on Elon Musk's celebrity, will have a difficult time selling its vehicles in the United States. If Tesla Motors wants India to be a successful market, it will have to overcome a number of obstacles. The fear of repairs is one factor that could prevent buyers from purchasing. If something goes wrong, the car must be returned to the country of manufacturer for repairs unless Tesla offers maintenance in the country, which is unlikely. Because the majority of the parts used are proprietary and not available elsewhere, getting a Tesla car repaired in India will be extremely difficult. When compared to petrol or diesel cars, which can easily be repaired at a local mechanic's garage, this is a significant disadvantage. The steep import duties in India, which could make importing cars difficult, would be the biggest challenge for Tesla when it comes to pricing, as Tesla is unlikely to open manufacturing in the country. However, now that the new government is in power, which is seen as more pro-business, Tesla may be able to negotiate lower duties with the government. In a country like India, where a majority of the population is still hungry, giving subsidies to eco-friendly electric car customers is a long shot. A subsidy would be seen as a massive waste of taxpayer funds, so it's unlikely to happen anytime soon. The Indian public has many misconceptions about electric vehicles, with the majority believing that they are underpowered and unreliable, despite Tesla's demonstration that EVs can be as powerful as, if not more powerful than, petrol and diesel cars. This is the main reason why existing electric cars in India, such as the Mahindra Reva, have struggled to find buyers. To dispel this myth, Tesla would have to spend a lot of money on advertising and promotion of its products, which would only add to its costs. Elon Musk claims that Tesla currently spends no money on advertising. With all of these issues and concerns, it appears that Tesla will not be able to replicate its success in other countries, including India. As a result, the only conclusion we can draw is that India is not yet prepared for Tesla. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts? Tell us in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.